Second week in May, we're at the Fletcher Canyon Trailhead in the Mount Charleston Wilderness, Southern Nevada. And this has been quite the year for one of the heaviest snowfalls that we've had during the winter, which means that there's a lot of snow up in the mountains and a lot lower than normal. And it also means that trails like Fletcher Canyon Trail are going to have a lot of runoff. And so wherever there's waterfalls, they're gonna be flowing at their best today and in this season. So let's go ahead and get started. The parking area is on this side of Kyle Canyon Road and the trailhead begins on the opposite side. And we're gonna go, we're gonna do the Fletcher Canyon and Eagle's Nest Loop. So those two different trails. So let's just see what's out there. Okay, here we are at the trailhead. And you can go ahead and freeze the video to read the information here. There's a nice map. And a welcome to the Spring Mountains National Recreation Area, which is the greater part of the Mount Charleston Wilderness. I'd say the Mount Charleston Wilderness is part of the Spring Mountains. Okay, onward. This is a pretty tame trail and a great introduction to the Mount Charleston Wilderness. And also, if you've been down at 2,000 feet or below for some time, this is a good introduction to higher altitude if you're just starting out to gain altitude during the season. Um, I think we're around, I don't know, 6,500 feet, somewhere around there, maybe 7,000. But anyway, yeah, I've taken this trail when I had a running injury uh, because it's that easy. And I still wanted to get out into the wilderness and this was a great trail to do that so let's continue on see what we find one great thing about this trail is that it's almost totally in a forested area. A lot of shade during the hot time in the summer, although when it's July, August heat, I tend to like to ascend higher up in the Charleston wilderness, uh, Mount Charleston Loop, Griffith Peak, all of those are great. Fletcher Peak, those are great places to go when it's uh, when it's a lot hotter and uh, one thing to that I've noted is that for every thousand feet elevation gain you uh, lose five degrees and so when it's 115 120 degrees in Las Vegas people are saying why are you going hiking you're gonna overheat get high, get um, heat um, exhaustion. And yet on that very day, when I'm up in the wilderness, Mount Charleston on Griffith Peak, it's actually about 40 degrees less. So between 70 and 80 degrees. 
which is pretty awesome. Approaching the trail junction. And this is the, the junction for the Eagle's Nest Loop Trail. And we'll take this on the way back. Eagle's Nest Loop is more exposed to the sun, but one benefit is that it has amazing views of Kyle Canyon, lower Kyle Canyon. So we'll go up there in just a bit and do the Eagle's Nest Loop. For now, let's continue on the Fletcher Canyon Trail. Yeah, even if you're into more dramatic adventures like Griffith Peak, Charleston Peak, Mummy Mountain, the La Madre Mountains, every now and then it's good to take a nice little trail like this. Maybe you don't have much time in the day and you just want to take a few hours and get out in the wilderness. This may be your trail. Or like I said, maybe you're injured and uh, you can't run, but you can still walk or maybe you're just a lot slower. Take this trail. You'll love it. Continuing along, as you can see, very nice trail and a wooded area. Yet it's at a good altitude, so it's a good first trail to take when you're starting out the high mountain season. Looks like we've got a a wash below. There's water in the wash. Spring runoff. And now we are entering the Mount Charleston Wilderness. I guess we were just in the Spring Mountains National Recreation Area before. Big question, what are those cliffs above us? And, you know, I'm gonna make a guess that I thought at first maybe Mummy Mountain, but no, nah, no, nah, too low. I'm gonna guess that those are just the foothills of Fletcher Peak. And we may be looking at Fletcher Peak straight up that way. Now, I don't know if you can get there from here. Um, looks pretty vertical right in this area. And I would imagine that's still Fletcher Canyon. So, yeah, this is probably not the route to Fletcher Peak, but if you just want to enjoy Fletcher Canyon, this is your trail. And here's that runoff we've been hearing through Fletcher Canyon. As I said, lots of water running in the Mount Charleston wilderness. Okay, this is the second crossing. Little creek runoff. Try to keep our feet dry. Yeah. Pretty cool. And all of this will be dry within a month or two. Definitely by August and September. So if you want to 
see and hear the wa running water in this area, uh, you need to be here maybe April through May, maybe into June. And what are the chances that all this water is shooting over the edge of some ledge or cliff further on up? Let's hope that happens. And as we ascend, the waterfalls here are getting more dramatic. So, a little sample of what we can experience above, we hope. Nice little incline. The further we go on this Fletcher Canyon Trail, which means it's downhill all the way back. And the little creek remains on the left side. Probably cross it again. More of that creek below. Definitely tumbling more as we ascend. So quick look back and you see the forest, the pines are getting, well I think this is a fir actually, <laughs> but they are getting taller and thicker. And what do you know, we're seeing little patches of snow as we continue to ascend. There's that creek again. Wow, look at that. Another creek crossing, this is number four. 
is pretty tame. Just make a jump. Guess the reason that I'm documenting so much water is that most of the time I've been here, it's been later in the year and it's been drier seasons. Everything's been dry. Okay, this is where the nice gravel surface ends. And it looks like maybe you'd go across the creek again. Don't do it. Instead, head up in this direction. This is the Fletcher Canyon Extra. And as I mentioned, as we ascend, the water is flowing more rapidly, tumbling over larger areas. And take a look at this. Looking a bit more like a fire hose here. I think it's going to get even more dramatic. Definitely on a real trail now. Continuing to ascend Fletcher Canyon. Of course, there are different routes that are appearing. You go across the creek here, or you can continue upward. I'm going to continue up.
Now we're entering the area where snow transforms into water. Another crossing here, a little more dramatic. Okay, getting a little more wild here. There is a pathway through the brush. Getting more and more wild here. Very beautiful. Now water is flowing down out of the rocks. The limestone here must be very porous. You can see the water flowing right through it. Onward and upward. We'll see how far this trail goes. And in some places now, it may not be classified as a trail, but more as a route along the stream. Wow, look at that. Well, I got to give it to this little canyon. It's much wilder than I expected. It's so beautiful this time of year. And it just keeps going. You see the canyon narrowing? Here's a Las Vegas snow woman Fletch.
you're going to make a snowman in the Las Vegas area. This is about what you need to do. Come up to the Mount Charleston Wilderness. Canyon walls becoming more narrow. And our big question, what side of the creek is the best to advance along the trail? I'm going to take the right side here. Wow. This trail definitely keeps going. As the canyon narrows. And this is what I get for holding my phone while I'm going through the brush. Well, I stopped counting how many times I've crossed the creek at this point. As you can see, the trail continues. Wonder how far this goes.
Uh oh, here's a rock climbers, Karen. <laughs> so, I guess it begins to turn into a rock climbing route at this point. Who knows? I'm going to continue up a little bit further. Seems there's a bypass on this side of the trail. Let's just see where it goes. Okay, squeeze ahead. And this is definitely doable, but I'm going to turn around at this point. Give me a taste of Fletcher Canyon. And um, I'm going to return when it's a little drier and just see how far this canyon goes. This is looking down the canyon. But what an awesome, unexpected treat this has been. Who could have guessed? We're almost in a slot canyon here. And I recommend, oh, late August, early to mid-September. Water will be dry, it'll start cooling off, summer heat will begin to uh, disappear, and uh, this may be very passable at that point. Everything should be dry. Well, I was expecting Fletcher Canyon to be a little bunny trail, but it's actually turned into a major adventure. I just wonder if we can make it all the way up this canyon and end up on the North Loop Trail. I'll have to look at maps. Maybe we'll try that in the future. Maybe it takes you all the way up to Fletcher Peak. Definitely a major adventure. And again, I recommend this in the fall. Before it starts getting cold, when it's dry, I understand that there are some huge snow drifts above us. and that those tend to block advance unless you have snow traction, crampons. So anyway, yeah, try the fall. But what a beautiful canyon. And you're not gonna see this in the fall. Spring runoff in Fletcher Canyon. We're on the way back down the Fletcher Canyon Trail. Here's a good shot of Harris Mountain. And here we are leaving Fletcher Canyon Trail, which as I said, turned out to be a lot more than I expected, depending on how far you go up the canyon. Seems like it goes forever. Take it in the fall. And we're at Eagle's Nest Loop. 
and it's only about, I don't know, an eighth mile from the Fletcher Canyon trailhead where you catch the Eagle's Nest Loop. Maybe a quarter mile. We don't know. And it heads up in that direction. Fletcher Canyon Trail continues downward. So that concludes Fletcher Canyon Trail. <laughs>